Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to be reviewing the new Lunar Beauty collection that Manny MUA just launched. There is a blush palette and I believe three lip glosses, two lip glosses, I don't exactly know, but I'm super excited. I'm glad that it arrived. I'm also going to be doing a makeup look during this review so it's not just blush that I'm showing you guys. So if you're excited to see my thoughts on this palette and the collection, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we will get right into it. All right guys, so like I said in the intro, I am going to be doing a full face of makeup. I'm going to be using new products that I've recently got. I just thought that like just reviewing a blush palette would kind of be boring and I have gotten quite a few new items. Like one of the things is the new Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, the new Huda mascara. So I have a lot of new things going on here and I just wanted to kind of try them out while also reviewing this awesome babe okay so the total collection value is $60 you do get a blush palette and you also get three lip glosses you can also get the three lip glosses by themselves and that is $40 and then you can get the palette by itself which is $35 or you can get individual lip glosses which are $17 so there's a lot of different options for your financial situation or for what you're interested in buying so here is the postcard and it has Manny in it and another model just showing that it can be used on different skin tones. Um, you can see it on her, but I'm a little worried by the color shades and color choices that it probably won't work for anyone who is a little slightly darker than her skin tone. So hopefully that isn't the case. So it is the Moon Prism Blush Palette. And I do have basically everything that Lunar Beauty has launched except for the Halloween collection. I wasn't a fan of that palette. Not that I think it was bad. It's just not my color scheme um, at all. So I did not get it. But everything else that I've gotten, I have really, really enjoyed. So he's done a really good job in my opinion. This is the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush Cheek Palette. So it's just this purple and pink, which I think is fab. I love the color scheme. It's so pretty and just honestly, it's just so beautifully done. Like I feel like it's artwork when I get his stuff because he puts so much effort and time into his packaging. So this is like 3D. I don't know if you can see it here, but they are raised up like the moon and different planets. That's so pretty. And just like his Greek Goddess highlighter palette, you do get a full mirror in here. And these are the shades. So my worry is right. Um, these don't look like they're going to be dark enough. Like even here on my monitor, um, like it's just not. I think the darkest ones are right here. And I still don't feel like they're going to be dark enough to do that darker skin tone. So I would have liked to see maybe like a super, super red. Um, I know that Fenty came out with some new cr uh, cream blushes and like she has some really, really deep reds that I feel like pick up fantastic on darker skin tones where these are kind of like, I don't even know that I would be able to use two of these. Maybe even this one too. I'm looking and seeing that the only three I may be able to use without using a lot are gonna be these two right here and this one. So that has me a little worried because I don't really have that darkest skin at all. So you have Pink Moon, Twilight, Basie, Soleil, Soul, Soleil, I'm not sure. Um, Stargaze and Gravity. So I'm gonna swatch them just real quick. So that is Pink Moon, Twilight, Spacey. So we have Pink Moon, Twilight, and Spacey. So Twilight actually swatched a little bit darker than I thought it would. And Spacey, again, like I said, is gonna be really good. Um, Pink Moon, as you can tell, is barely there on my skin tone. And this is the lighter part of my skin tone. So I do not think that that will be one that I can use, but Twilight and Spacey seem to be nice. I do really enjoy these peachy, orangey tone blushes. All right, so moving on to 
the Soleil. So you have Soleil, which I might be saying that wrong. Comment down below and let me know. Stargaze and Gravity. You have Soleil, Stargaze, Gravity. Um, again, so these two are going to be okay for my skin tone. This one's kind of pushing it because, again, this is on the lighter part of my arm. And Star uh, Soleil is going to be a little bit too light. I might be able to really um, build it up, but I don't really prefer shimmer, so I might try to use it as a highlight and see how that goes. All right, so we're gonna move into the lips real quick. All right, so I actually own Celine from the original launch, so I'm not gonna open her up. I'm gonna put her in the giveaway, which will be announced very soon. So it is just a clear gloss with some gold reflex in it. So it gives it like a peachy color when you wear it, but basically it's clear. The only thing I don't care for when it comes to his glosses is they have a extremely strong sweet smell. I don't mind sweet smells, but when it's like super over the top, it can kind of be too much for me. So this one is, I love the packaging by the way. It's just very like iridescent. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, but it's just very iridescent and white and just pretty, I doubt it's gonna pick it up. And then inside it has the night sky and stars, which is super cute. All right, so this one comes in the white packaging and this is in the shade Moon. So this is a pigmented gloss. It means it has color to it. It is not just a clear gloss. And this one also just has the same smell. So it's gonna be like a peachy pink nude I love these kind of glosses. They can go over a lot of different lipsticks, especially your favorite nude or brown lipsticks, and they look really, really pretty. Um, this one is Starlight, and it looks like... So it does definitely have a deeper tone than Moon, but it's like that pinky nude brown undertone, but it also carries the gold reflex like Celine. I actually love this one, though. I won't lie. So this reminds me of the Fenty Gloss Bomb that I have fussy maybe I don't remember but it is so pretty and I wear it literally on a regular basis so I might have to be trying this one out so I'm gonna go ahead off camera real quick throw on my brows and then we're gonna go ahead and get started with the look all right so my eyes are watering a little bit I do have severe allergies going on right now so my voice might be in and out my eyes might water it might get a little crazy, so hold on. So the new items that I use today, which are a little bit different than what I usually use, are the Milk Kush Triple Brow Pen Crayon. Um, uh, this little guy. I don't care for this at all. Uh, I picked it up because I was like, oh, let me try it out. And honestly, like, I'm just not a fan. So basically, it has three little slits here and it's supposed to do like a flicky flick and make it look more natural but I really I feel like it made it look more blocky because no matter what I did no matter how light I held it it just kind of didn't do what I needed it to do so I either if I held it too light then I'd have to do it again then it'd be too thick and then now I have full-blown brows but I did not use dip brow at all today so I used that and wound up just drawing them on and then I went in with this. So this is the ABH um, brow gel, but it's in the shade Ebony. I've only ever used their clear brow gel. And I actually really like this because it really, really darkened up where this color lacked. So I'm really excited. I don't hate my brows. I just don't care for the new milk product. So the next new item that I want to try that is new to my collection is the Hourglass Veil Eye Primer. I don't know that this is new to their brand. I believe it might be though. They had a lot of new items launch. Um, but my husband got this for me for my birthday. So I'm really, really excited to try it. So it is like a translucent one. It just kind of disappears as you rub it in. It feels nice though. It's definitely silicone based. So I just feel like this is kind of overpriced for what it is. So this was $28 and I feel like you can get the same look or achieve the same concept with the Morphe one that I love and that's like $10. So moving on to my eyeshadow. 
So this isn't a new product, but it is new to my collection. I got this in the Huda Beauty Mystery Bag, and it is the Rose Gold Palette Remastered. So I have only swatched this one. So the first color I'm going to go into is going to be Doll Face, which is this pink right here. And I'm just going to place that in my crease and a little bit above. And then I'm going to blend that out because that's going to be basically my transition color today. I also got this little neat headband with my makeup eraser purchase. Alright, so I'm going to go in with this Lux brush and just smoke that color out up here so it's not as harsh. Now that I have that color placed down, I'm going to go ahead into Risky, which is this darker pink color, and I'm going to place it on my crease just to make a little depth. Such pretty colors. Like, this palette is just gorgeous. So I'm literally just going to place that in the crease and up just a little, and then on the outer corner. love that. So I'm just going back in with that same pink blending brush and just kind of blending that darker color into the lighter pink so it is more cohesive. So I did bring that darker color Risky in just a little bit um, into the lid and then I'm going to place some eye primer and then do a shimmer over it. So we're going to go back in again with that primer just to make sure it's nice and neat. This is actually a very tacky primer, I will tell you that, like way tackier than Morphe, like the more that I use it, it definitely has more of a grip. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead in with a shimmer. And I think I'm going to do pink diamonds. I think that'll look really pretty. So I'm going to go in with a packing brush. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go in with that pink diamond. I'm going to just use a flat packing brush. I love her shimmers. Like, they're just so creamy and pretty. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just pack that on there and see how this primer works. Oh, that is a pretty color. So I'm going to use my Morphe setting spray to kind of just stamp this brush to get it to stick a little bit better. The shimmer is just so creamy, but it's not picking up as much as I wanted to. Mm -hmm. What is your guys' favorite song? I feel like I'm always listening to just, like, the most random stuff. Like, I don't feel like I ever have a favorite song. I think I just, like, listen to whatever. Like, it's so crazy, my playlist. Like, I can go from rap to, like, Christian <laughs> to, like, country to rock. It's so crazy. It is so crazy. Anything, anything with a good beat and good lyrics, like, I'm down for. Alright, so I'm going to go in back with that risky color, the darker color, just to kind of blend in that crease and the outer corner, like so. Just so it looks a little bit more cohesive. Just a little more blended. We're going to go back in with doll face in just a minute, too. To clean that up. I swear, this is my worst eye. Like, this one I can do fantastic. This one over here, I struggle. <laughs> so weird. Yeah. Right, so, I'm gonna go in with Doll Face, which is that lighter pink one, just a little to blend that darker pink and purple together. I love this look. It turned out so pretty. 
so pink and like shimmery Alright, so I'm going to be doing my face now. I did just put on my moisturizer. So the two things that I'm using skincare wise before my makeup, this isn't like my morning routine, my nighttime routine. This is what I put on before I do my makeup. It is the Elemis Resurfacing Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. They remind me of the First Aid Beauty ones, but they're a little bit better. And then I use the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. I know that like a lot of people are not the biggest fan of this cream. It does have slight fragrance, but I love it and it leaves my face like super glowy. If you can tell, I put it on. It feels nice and I have sensitive skin. So the fact that it works nicely for me is all I'm saying. I love it. I use it morning and nighttime. All right, so the next thing is gonna be my primer. This is the new Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. And I got this in a recent Sephora haul, and I'll go ahead and link that above. So this is another newer item for me. And I'm just gonna basically put it all over. I think this is just supposed to be like where I get texture. So I'm kind of focusing it like here and here. All right, so I'm going to move on to my foundation, which is going to be, it's not a new one, but I got it a long time ago and I've only ever used it like one time. This is the Lancome Skin Feels Good, um, and this is a hydrating skin tint with a healthy glow, so we shall see and just... So it's a little light because I've gotten some sun this week. So I do like the coverage of this. I feel like it gives you a nice like light to medium coverage, but it's definitely like if you look, it's a pretty good coverage for being a skin tint or either that or I just put a crap ton on. <laughs> Actually looks like it might be super too light for my skin. Oh well already went with it sister we got to move on okay so I really don't like this foundation Where's the lid? um I just think that it kind of sticks into my dry skin in here I don't know if you can see it it's not really showing up on the monitor either and it like sits in here in my dry spots it's not really clinging to my texture which is nice it does give me like a nice little glow but I think that might be the underneath stuff. And also, this is like super light. It doesn't, I don't know if it's showing you guys as light as it looks in this camera. Like, I mean, in this mirror, I look like I'm like a ghost. So I don't like that it's settling there on my nose. But we will move on. It will be fine. All right, so I'm going to go into my concealer and I'm just going to be using my Tarte Cosmetics. I have not gotten any new um, concealers, I think. I don't think I have. Not recently. So. Let's do a little of this. I try to use as little concealer as possible because I don't find that it's necessary to cake it on. So that's what I've been going with lately. All right, so the next thing I'm going to go into is going to be the Hourglass, and this is the Veil Translucent Setting, Translucent Setting Powder. So I got this from a Sephora haul, and then my husband went and got me the bigger one for my birthday. When I opened it, I was like, oh, I'm so excited to have it, but like I haven't tried this yet. So I'm going to go ahead in here, and he also got me this. So he got me like a little set. Well, it's not actually a set. He got it individually, but... That's how he did it. So I would have it. He got me the eyeshadow primer that I showed you. This powder and then this brush. Ooh. Hmm. So I went ahead and I set all of my areas. I'm now going to go in with my bronzer, which is the new Charlotte Tilbury um, airbrush bronzer. And this is refillable and rechargeable. And I got it in the shade three, which is tan. So this is the packaging. This thing is huge. Okay, so it is refillable right here. You pop that out and get the new one. 
Look how big this is. This is her pressed powder and this is her bronzer. I'm like, jeez, so big. So it does have a really big mirror too. Hopefully this will be my color because this kind of looks a little bit darker than I thought. <laughs> so textured. Okay, so I do really like this bronzer. I feel like it might be a little too dark, but I do get a little bit darker in the summer, so we'll see. I do like how it feels, though. It was really smooth and easy to blend. I just felt like it wasn't as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. It did take me a little bit to kind of build it up. All right, so moving on to why we're here. The blush. Okay, so I think I'm going to go on with Twilight. I'm going to try to use Twilight, which is that orangish color, and see how that works out for me. If it doesn't work out, then we'll have to move to a darker color. Okay, so it did coat that brush, and there was not a lot of fallout, so let's see. Okay. Now me, I like a little extra blush. I know that that's not everyone's cup of tea but I do love a very bold blush I do that um little some like summertime blush thing that went real crazy on TikTok but I don't do it as crazy as they were doing it. it this can be built up this color so this color will probably work out for me just fine um spacey and gravity are gonna be good but again I think I'm gonna try to do this Pink moon. Just to put it on my nose. Mm. Like you can't even see it. So if I were to put it here, it just doesn't do what I need it to. I do love this orangey peachy blush so for me i'm gonna try to use instead of the highlighter i was gonna use which is the new fenty one i added to my collection i'm gonna try to use the soleil or whatever this blush is named um and see how that goes on my face so let's see yeah, so it's not as shiny. So that is the blush I'm going to move on. I am going to use the new Fenty highlighter that I purchased. And this one is Fire Crystal and Lightning Dust. I'm going to go in with Fire Crystal, which is this color right here. Mm, the highlighter, though. Fenty never fails me. Like, I swear to y'all. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this under eye look. I'm just going to be putting um, the shadow. I'm going to be putting doll face underneath here with a little bit of risque. And then we're going to move on to the mascara. Okay, so I decided not to put any of the risque on the bottom. I just did the doll face, which was that lighter pink. And now I'm going to go in with a pencil brush into Moon Dust which is right here, and hit those inner corners. You gotta get them inner corners. God, her shimmers are like no other. Like, you just can't compare. Okay, so that is it for the eye look. Very simple, very pink, very summertime. But I'm gonna move on to my other new item from Huda. It is the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. So I will not be using lashes today because we're going to see how this goes. Because a lot of people claim to have like top of the line mascara. And I have yet to find a mascara where I'm like, oh, I don't need lashes. So you get a volume and then curl in length. So it's double ended. So volume, curl in length. And it looks like this. Like it's shaped so cute. And it is in black. Okay. So, it doesn't say direction. All right, cool. I'm gonna go with volume because it says volume and um, curl. Okay, 
and I'm gonna start at the bottom and I'm gonna do volume and then I'm gonna let it dry for a second and then I guess we'll go in and do curl and length. Ooh, that was chunky. Okay, so that is the difference in volume. I'm looking at that. It ain't bad. Is it lashes good so far? Mm. But it's definitely not a bad mascara. Lengthen and curl. So let's see. Oh shoot. And I don't feel like this is something I need to like put 70 layers on to get the cheat the look that I'm looking for. Okay, so I like it. It is really good. I do feel like it has lifted and curled looking at the monitor, but I don't feel like it would take place of my lashes. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to move on to the lip colors, and I think I'm going to be using Starlight. Okay, so I definitely love Starlight. I think this is gonna be my new jam. I love this. All right, let's try Moon. So this is definitely gonna be one that I have to use a liner for um, if you are the same skin tone and possibly a little bit darker because it looks like I have foundation over my lips. And that's it. And again, because Selena is not a new one, I'm not going to swatch that one today. Um, but I am gonna be going back in with Starlight. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom you out, and then I'm going to do my final thoughts on the palette and the new lip glosses. All right, guys, so my final thoughts on the palette, the blushes, and the lip glosses is I give it a thumbs up for formula. I give it a thumbs up for packaging. The glosses I like. I'm not too crazy about the Moon one by itself, but definitely combined with a lip liner or a lipstick will look fantastic. The one and only issue, but it is a large issue, is I don't think that this is very inclusive when it comes to colors. I do know that he has a person of color on the packaging, but honestly, I feel like it just doesn't, you can't really even see the blush on her that well. You can more see her highlight under her eye than a blush. So look at his versus look at hers. So for me, I think that if you are any darker than me, you might find it a little bit hard to really use most of this palette. So I don't think that I'm going to be recommending this because I think that it would not be a good investment, if you will, for someone who cannot use majority of these shades. So I fortunately was able to use at least four of the six. So for me, it was worth it. But if you can only use one or two of them, then just get a blush that's similar to that. Um, I just wish it would have had maybe like a red in it. And it's like, you know, people are like, well, I can't use a red. Okay, but it's not just about you. Like, if you're fair skinned, you're more than likely able to use a whole lot of these blushes. But if you're tan to darker skin tone, you're going to have a hard time with this. So I do wish that he would have made it a little bit more of a larger range or do like two different palettes for like light or a fair to medium and then tan to dark. If you are darker skin tone and you have this palette, comment down below and let me know how it looks on you. Again, I don't have dark skin tone, so I'm only assuming, um, but by the colors, I just don't think that they're gonna work out really well for you guys. Um, however, if you are fair to like a light tan medium, I think that it'll be okay for you to get this palette. I do like the formula. It didn't have a lot of fallout. It did apply nicely. Like I'm able to build it and make it super crazy if I want it, or I can just put it on very lightly. So I do like that. I love the packaging. I love the packaging. The glosses as usual are beautiful. So that is it for today's video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful and safe weekend. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you on the next one. Bye.